We all know what a horse is. My job is to identify the ingredients that make up who that horse is. Whatever that horse can achieve, if we can find a way and create a unique, more innovative approach to create an environment that allows them to be successful at whoever they are, to me that's a measure of success. Every individual horse is a research project. I began studying wild horses in Montana and Wyoming. What I began to realize was the layers of the herd are compartmentalized by communication levels. Body language, which is primary for the lower level horses, and there is subtle body language and very much more presence and intent. You know, one of the unique things I like to look for in, in the horses is the influence on the, of the environment on their perspective. How are they reacting to things? A horse that doesn't seem quite as uh, hot, more calm, doesn't react to things quite with a lot of physical energy, doesn't waste emotional energy. And what I care about is how are they managing these stimulus in motion? How are they reacting to things? How are they moving other horses? Are they moving them or are they being moved? How are they reacting? A lot of things at play here that can change completely, and that's why it's so important to study the horses, the emotional conformation, because it's one, of the, one of the key things that it's going to tell you in this study is how well do they assimilate to environmental changes. Performing well and, and enjoying what you're doing and have the horse be happy and be a horse, to me, is, is the biggest thing.